How are we doing, folks? Your host, Moose, here on the Pit Panthers Football Network as we welcome you to Miami, Florida, where your Pit Panthers take on the Miami Hurricanes. And it's basically a play-in game for the ACC Championship between the Panthers and the Hurricanes. Pitt currently saying it's 6-1 and one in conference. Miami at 5-2. and two. Whoever wins this game will have the right to take on Clemson in the ACC Championship game. And we got a doozy here. Both teams very explosive. We're going to send it out to kick off here in Miami. So the Panthers will receive Maurice French back to take it. He'll recover at about his one-yard line. Runs into Aaron Matthews as he tries to get a little bit forward. Nice spin move, and French is taken down at about the 24-yard line where Pat Narduzzi and his Panthers will start out with the football. If we look at the tail of the tape here, both teams very, very accomplished offensively, both in the top 20 in yards and points per game. But where it's going to come down to things, I think, the pit rush offense versus the uh, Hurricanes rush defense. The Hurricanes passing offense versus the Panthers passing defense. And Kenny Pickett is going to test the Hurricanes with Quadri Olison here. He doesn't get anything on the opening rush of the game. And speaking of Olison, he and Darren Hall are the two guys to watch. Olison needs just 41 yards to go over 1,000 on the season. Darren Hall has already hit that milestone. Of course, one big blocker, Alex Bookser. He's actually a finalist for the Offensive Lineman of the Year uh, in the NCAA for his contribu contributions to the Panthers this year. Pickett's first pass as he rolls out to his right, slings it out wide to redshirt senior Rafael Arujo Lopes, who's from Florida, makes a nice grab, picks up about nine, setting up third and one for the Panthers. And Darren Hall comes in, trying to get that first down. He shakes off the first wave of tacklers and fights his way forward for two yards and a first down for the Panthers here. Now first and ten from their own 36-yard line. Pickett has George Aston, the Swiss Army knife, go in motion. It's another handoff to Olsen. He goes nowhere. Loss of a yard. The Hurricanes clearly... Uh, bearing down on the Panthers' rushing attempts here early on. Third and 11 now. Pickett's in the shotgun. He's back. Looks. Beautiful catch by Arujo Lopes. I was almost shocked there. You wanted to call interception before he threw it, but Pickett fires it into that little hole, and Rafael Arujo Lopes with a diving grab. Now it's a little screen out to Darren Hall, and Miami has that snuffed out from the beginning. Loss of six as the Panthers tried to swing it out wide to their senior tailback from Youngstown, Ohio. He's brought down, and it's going to be second and 16. Now jet sweep to Paul Lease, the freshman from New Jersey, takes the handoff and picks up a about 10. Good run for the youngster. And it's going to be a third and now a much more manageable six. Pickett, bunch formation tight to his right-hand side. He looks, fires, looking for his man. Arujo Lopes for the third time this drive. Can't find him. And the Panthers will have to punt the ball away to Evan Sharifs, the man who wasn't even supposed to be a starter, and he's been unbelievable for Miami. 27 touchdowns, just five interceptions, four touchdowns in his last game, and he's looking to lead this Miami offense out. It's a handoff to senior tailback Mark Walton, who picks up four yards. Walton's been very dangerous this year as well, and you can see the reason why Sharifs has been in, Malik Rozier, upper arm fracture. He's out for the entire season, and Sharifs is going to get a t to test the Panthers defense that's missing Paris Ford and Sean Idowu, two really strong starters for their team, uh, especially in pass coverage. They're missing both of them due to abdominal tears. Ford hopefully would be back by the prospective ACC championship game. I do maybe for a bowl game or the college football playoff, knock on wood, should the Panthers be able to get there. But Miami's moving the ball with absolute ease right now. Sharice finds his man Lawrence Cager for 10 yards and a first down as they near midfield. It's a handoff to Walton now. He cuts back against the grain and picks up eight. Nice carry there before being brought down. And it's going to be second in a very short yardage set for Miami right now. Sharif's uh, play action. He's back. Look Looks beautiful corner route to Mullins, who's pushed out by senior cornerback Felipe Motley. But it's a big gain for Miami, and they're inside the 30 into Panthers territory. Sharifs, a little uh, drag route to Irvin. He picks it up and pulls down for about 12 yards, fought off the first tackler. And it's a good, solid gain for the Canes. Sharifs changing the play at the line. 
Looks out wide. He's got Walton on a nice little wheel route. Picks up 12, and that's going to set up first and goal for Miami. They're making this look absolutely easy. Sheriffs hasn't missed on a pass all game, and Walton nearly waltzes into the end zone. Picks up four, but he's brought down at the goal line. So second and goal. Tight set for Miami. Goal line. It's going to be another handoff to Walton. He's snuffed out in the backfield. That's Salim Brightwell, who's had a big first drive here. His fourth tackle already brings him down. It's going to be third in goal. Goal line set, though, for Miami. Try to get the Panthers to jump off. So it's a handoff to Gray. And Trayon Gray is into the end zone. Three-yard touchdown run. And Miami opens the scoring. And they could be opening the floodgates with the way they moved the ball down the field against the Panthers but Kenny Pickett and company looking to respond here read option is Pickett's going to hold on to it fights off a tackler gets forward for the first down before being pushed out of bounds nice 11 yard run from the sophomore from New Jersey shotgun a three wide receiver set with Olison to his left Lee's going to go in motion it's a wide receiver option here Lee's uh, gets the pitch from Kenny but doesn't have anywhere to go Miami good contain there and Lee's is held to just a single yard on that play Aruja Lopes goes in motion now here on second and nine Pickett's going to hand off to Olson to counter back the direction where Aruja Lopes went great blocking from the Panthers it's 10 yards for Olison and a first down second and eight now Pickett he's going to hand off to Olson yet again he powers up the middle for about three or four. It's going to set up third and short now for the Panthers as they're nearing midfield. Pickett, uh, uh, ace formation here, three wide to his right. It's going to be a screen to the right. Aaron Matthews nearly intercepted. Matthews is brought down just short of the first down, fourth and inches, and Pat Narduzzi is not messing around. We know about his aggressiveness, his boisterousness, and he's going to show it off here. Fourth and inches, it's a handoff. It's Olison, and he's got the first down. Good blocking from the Panthers. Good, solid, manageable gain. Needed inches, got four, and with the Panthers driving, we'll end the first quarter. Miami 7, your pit Panthers 0. So after a big fourth down conversion, the Panthers now with their first attempt inside Miami territory to start the second quarter. And it's going to be a handoff up the middle. Darren Hall goes for about three down to the Miami 44-yard line. Five wide set for Pickett now in the shotgun. Clock winding down here on the play clock. Gets it off. He's got Paul Lease over the middle. The freshman picks up 12, and that's a first down for the Panthers to the 34-yard line. Olsen checks back into the game. Three wide receivers set for the Panthers here in the shotgun. Pickett, he's going to hand it off to Olsen. Goes off tackle. Only gets about a yard. It's going to be third and 10 now. Very long for the Panthers. Pickett shotgun set. Three wide receivers receivers to his left haul in as the setback Pickett looks out wide nearly intercepted it's deflected away that's Ryan Mays goes up and makes a big deflection and the Panthers here an interesting choice on the 33 yard line of Miami just a bit too far for a field goal and so they decide to punt on fourth and ten. It turns into a net 13-yard punt. It was a good punt by Eric Fox, but unfortunately the Panthers weren't able to down it. And Miami will start over at their 20-yard line. Sheriffs picks up a nice gain of 10 and gets first down yardage there out to the 31-yard line. He's back in the shotgun now looking to pass. Plenty of time for Sheriffs, but he doesn't find anyone to throw to. And Sean Wolfgang, the second attempt, he was brought down on the play. He fights through a blocker and gets the sack his 12th of the season that leads everybody in the NCAA for the sophomore from Colorado but Sheriff says second long it doesn't matter look at that he finds Sam Bruce fights off Jazzy Stalker who's in for the injured Paris Ford and that goes for a first down for Miami Sheriff's back to pass again still hasn't missed but he's sacked again that is Salim Brightwell coming through the middle good sack from the middle linebacker for a loss of two, it's second and 12. Sheriff's on the draw. He's got Walden. Plenty of blockers ahead of him. Well-disguised play. He goes for 11. It's going to be third in inches now for the Hurricanes. Panthers showing blitz. The safeties creep down. And it works out. They bring down Walton. Dennis Briggs and Barry Jenkins coalesced in the backfield. Barry Jenkins, the sophomore linebacker from Washington, D.C., makes the tackle. And the Panthers will force Miami into a punt. Pickett now, first down. He rolls out to his right, and he's going to be sacked. 
Loss of eight on the rollout. He couldn't evade Demetrius Jackson. And it's going to be second and 18 now for the Panthers. Pick it back to pass. Big pressure from Miami. They brought six. It was a full house blitz, uh, a cover zero blitz. And just like that, Pickett, lucky to get the pass away. And it's going to set up third and 18 now. Three wide set. He's got plenty of time. Looking deep, going from in. Nearly intercepted. Jaquan Johnson knocks that one away. The Panthers negative eight yards on that drive, and they're forced to punt it away. Miami looking to get back on the scoreboard and potentially break things open here. And they're going to start it off with a Walton four-yard carry. He's been solid today. He's got some good yardage gains. Of course, got stuffed a couple of times at the goal line, but otherwise he's moved the ball very well. And that's going to be a big play. Amon Richards on the drag route. Gets outside of his man. Jazzy Stalker chases him down to save a touchdown. But that goes for 30. And Miami's into field goal range. Sheriffs, another good pass. That's Michael Irvin Jr., the tight end, hauling it in for 17. And they're into the red zone. Sheriffs has not missed on a pass yet here with just four minutes to play in the first half. He's got Walton outside on the screen. He fights through a tackler before he's pushed out of bounds uh, after a gain of six. Second and four now. Sheriff's under center. He drops back to pass, though. Rolls to his right. He runs for it, and he's just short of the first down. He's brought down, I think it was Brightwell yet again who made the tackle to stop him short of the end zone. Third and inches now. It's a handoff to Walton. He's stuffed in the backfield. Salim Brightwell breaking through his seventh tackle in the first half. Another one for a loss. Miami brought out the offense like they were going to go for it here on fourth and one. Pat Narduzzi calls a timeout. Miami head coach Mark Rick changes his mind. And the Hurricanes elect to go for the field goal this time. And it will go up and it will go good. Miami into double figures. Their lead as well. 10-0 here. The Panthers will take over after a very short return from Maurice French, but it's going to be an off-tackle handoff. Quadriolis and gets out wide. 16 yards, his biggest run of the day, and the Panthers with a nice gain on first down. It'll be second and 11 now for the Panthers. Pickett here in the shotgun. It's a little screen. They've got Maurice French underneath. Nice solid gain there of about seven. The Panthers just looking to get Pickett moving here. Only two for six on third down so far here in the first half. Three wide set with Aaron Matthews in motion. Pickett back to pass. Has time. Looks underneath for Matthews but Shaq Quarterman jumps the route. Knocks the ball away and the Panthers have to punt yet again. Still with that goose egg on the board and the way Sheriffs is slinging the ball around Dayall Harris goes for 13 and Miami's up near midfield already they're almost a hundred yards of total offense greater than the Panthers at this point right now Sheriffs finds his man that was Richards but he's not able to haul it in his first incompletion of the day he's already up to 147 yards passing on 10 of 11 completions 11 of 12 now as he finds Bruce underneath for a gain of about 12 and another first and the Panthers don't know what to do. When they play man, Sheriff seems to always find that man that has one step on his defender and gets him open. Just like that right there. He finds Sam Bruce in the uh, beats the uh, over-the-top coverage, and it goes for a first down. When the Panthers play zone, Sheriff just seems to beat that as well. So look at that. Even when the Panthers bring the pressure, Motley off the edge levels Sheriffs, and he still finds Lawrence Cager on the corner route. And it's another... First down for Miami. Walton on the off-tackle handoff loses a yard there. The Panthers looking to hold the Hurricanes to a field goal, if nothing else, to keep it within two scores, and they're not going to be able to do it. They bring the pressure. Jenkins with the hit, but Michael Irvin Jr. catches the touchdown. Sheriffs, 200 yards. He's the absolute robo-QB right now. 15 of 16 passing for 200 yards and a touchdown, and Miami up 17-0, and a hurricane warning might be in effect here for the Pitt Panthers. They're going to have to show some resolution here. 20 seconds to play in the first half, following a bad return from Maurice French, only to the 20. Five wide set for Pitt. They have two timeouts, and a big gain to Maurice French over the middle. Pickett sees him running the post route through the middle. Great throw from Kenny, and the Panthers get back up to the line. Hurry. Pickett rolls out, looking, goes deep, finds a man. He had Trey Tipton, but he can't haul it in. It deflects off his arm, and unfortunately, you know, fortunately for the Panthers, it stops the clock, but they miss out on a big gain. Pickett now looks over the middle. That's a Rujo Lopes, Pickett's favorite target so far 
here in the first half. 18-yard grab from the redshirt senior, and Pitt nearing field goal range with six seconds to play. Five wide set if they can get one more play to get close. Pickett looks to the sidelines. He's got Maurice French. Beautiful timing pattern as Pickett found him as he got outside of his you know, between the zones there, and it was a big gain allowing the Panthers to get into field goal range where f sophomore kicker Jay Bump splits the uprights and the Panthers cut the Miami advantage to just two touchdowns, trailing here at halftime, 17 to three. So if we look at the halftime report for the Panthers, they just haven't been converting when they need to. They do have 150 yards of offense. Miami has only 230 yards, so 80-yard difference is about one drive. But the Panthers, you know, they got to the Miami 33 and had to punt. Uh, they've punted from, like, the Miami 45 as well. So they've gotten into those positions where you'd like them to finish off a drive, get into field goal range at least, and they've had to punt, whereas Miami's just waltzing down the field on the Panthers. And if the Panthers have any hopes of coming back here. They're going to need to find a way to slow down Evan Sharif. There's no doubt about that. But we'll see you soon here in Miami for the second half. Your Pitt Panthers trailing on the Pitt Panthers Football Network. So we welcome you here for the second half at Hard Rock Stadium on the Pitt Panthers Football Network. Your Panthers trailing Miami 17-3. And Evan Sheriff's making absolute mincemeat of the Panthers here. He starts off the second half a 41-yard catch and run to Amon Richards. And with one play, Miami's already into Panthers territory. Mark Walton, he's got plenty of room off tackle here for a big run. Jazzy Stalker swings and misses at him before Jason Jordan and can bring him down after a 22-yard gain. Miami into the red zone on two plays. Sheriff's in the shotgun. It's another. It's the same play. Off tackle to Walton. He's pushed out of bounds, but not after he gets first down yardage. Picks up 11. And it's going to be first and goal for the Hurricanes. They got two receivers to the left here, but it's going to be a handoff to the fullback. That's Brian Ford up the middle. The sophomore goes to the end zone. Miami has broken this game wide open and in under a minute, 44 seconds to be exact, they bump their lead up to three touchdowns, 24 to three. So the Panthers need something to respond here. It's Quadri Olison out to the right-hand side. He picks up 12, doing his best to keep the Panthers in the game here as he goes for the first down. Pick it now under center. Matthews, it's a play action jet sweep. They fake the hand off to Olison as well. Double play action, but pick it fumbles and it's recovered by Jackson. Miami brought the pressure on the play action. Pick it. Wasn't able to hold on to the football. Jackson jarred it loose, and it was recovered by Miami, nearly taken to the end zone. If he didn't stumble there, he would have scored a touchdown, and Miami will have the ball in Panthers territory. Pat Narduzzi and Kenny Pickett look at a loss for words right now. You can see they're exchanging words, but what could be said right now? The Panthers' season may be falling apart and crumbling at the seams. Miami, though, chooses to run an option here on their first place. Sheriffs lose is three yards on that one and third and 13 now after an incomplete pass back to pass it's Sheriff's plenty of time looks to the end zone nearly intercepted a turnover would have been huge Dane Jackson couldn't hold on but he does break it up Miami will be forced to kick here and that kick is up and that kick is good the Hurricanes push their lead to 27 to 3 but for the Panthers Technically, they're still within three possessions if they were to score three touchdowns and get three two-point conversions. So they're going to have to start somewhere, and they do start with a handoff to senior running back Darren Hall. He goes for 11 and a first down for the Panthers, but they've still got 72 yards to go. Olison now on a screen. He picks up about 11 there. Nice little job by Kenny Pickett getting it to Olsen. He's made something happen with it. Another first down is the Panthers. Get near midfield. Handoff now. It's Darren Hall. Off tackle. Good little sweep run for the Panthers out of the shotgun. Hall picks up about nine. And it's going to be second and one. Hall stays into the game here. Trips formation to Pickett's left. It's going to be a counter to the right. Hall 
breaks away from one tackler, nearly got tackled in the backfield, turns it into a positive two-yard gain and a first down. Olison checks back into the game with the Panthers at midfield here. Aston in motion, pick it under center. It's a handoff. It's Olison breaks it outside. No contain for Miami. A good shoestring tackle, though, brings Olison down after a five-yard gain. Third and five now. Shotgun look for the Panthers with Olison in. He's going to take the handoff. He's going to go off tackle yet again. Fights his way through one tackler and falls backwards for a seven-yard gain and a first down for the Panthers. And this is honestly their best drive of the game so far with the exception of that 22nd miracle field goal at the end of the first half. And Pickett on the money finds Arujo Lopes, his fourth catch of the day. Another great throw from Pickett there. And the Panthers, 16 to 16 in first downs, and we're only halfway through the third quarter. Incredible offensive display by these two teams. Uh, and Pickett goes on the read option there, picks up about eight. Aston in the game as the tight end on the right-hand side of the second tight end. He goes in motion into the backfield. It's a handoff. It's Olison. He cuts back against the grain. Nice eight-yard run for Olison down to about the two, and the Panthers looking for their first opportunity to punch things into the end zone. Bunch formation to the right. Pickett's a handoff fake end around, and Olison is into the end zone. Quadri Olison, the battering ram from Niagara Falls, New York, into the end zone is the senior, and the Panthers score. Now they are going to go for two here to try and keep things to within two possessions. Now shotgun look. Pickett rolls out to his right. He could run it in maybe. No, he's forced to dump it off. He's got police. Great little play by Pickett. He looked like he had a chance to run it in. Once he got the Miami defenders to commit to him, he was able to just flick it over to Paul Lease. And Pitt cuts the Miami lead to 27-11, down 16. It's a two-possession game. Sheriffs, though, back to pass. Amon Richards is just wide open. He comes back on that comeback route, and Sheriffs is hitting him every single time. First down for the Hurricanes. Second and seven now. Sheriffs back to pass. Plenty of time looking. Great little job there from Shrifts. That's the kind of stuff that's going to show off that he has some pro potential. Great job there. Just stays with his eyes downfield, even rolling out, and puts a strike to Sam Bruce for a 26-yard gain. And Miami already back into field goal range to push this lead into three possessions yet again. Walton with a short run, second and six now. Motion from the tight end as Sharifs is back to pass. Looks over the middle. He's got Sam Bruce again, who's been so dangerous here for the Hurricanes in the third quarter. Big run, and it's second and four now at the 10-yard line. Sharifs, three-step drop. Looks out wide. He's got his man. That's Mullins. Good tackle by senior Elijah Zeiss at a Central Catholic in Pittsburgh, or North Allegheny in Pittsburgh, to make the tackle there and keep him out of the end zone. Walton here on the pitch isn't able to go anywhere. No gain. Second goal. And this is where Miami's kind of been a bit confused, you feel like, offensively when they run these plays. They have scored twice from plays inside the five, but you know, occasionally it's just this little bit of confusion here. Sharif throws it out of the end zone, it's third and goal now. Tight uh, bunch formation to the right. Walton on the handoff, runs into his lineman and breaking into the backfield. Senior Dennis Briggs says, not on my watch, brings down the running back and Miami, Miami will be forced into their third field goal of the day. So that's probably the one positive for the Panthers. Miami is scoring on every drive, but thankfully the Panthers are holding them to field goals of late. French with a good care, uh, good run there. Uh, fires forward for 46 yards. I say of late. Miami has still scored uh, 13 points here in the third quarter. The Panthers, though, have gotten eight of their own, and they're looking to score yet again, potentially. Good uh, return from French. Now Hall with a nice three-yard carry. The Panthers at midfield already. It's Hall now off tackle. Good sweep. Fights through some tacklers. Good blocking to the left-hand side. Hall picks up nine, and that's a first down for the Panthers. So the rushing attack for the Panthers has really come alive here in the third quarter. It's letting them move the ball down the field, but they have to be cautious and cognizant of the clock if they're going to keep running the football because because the clock, of course, is going to keep running. Uh, they're getting, you know, big carries for sure. Olison here goes for about, oh, wow, breaks a couple tackles, picks up 13. Another big gain for the Panthers. But the more you run, the more you have to see at the clock running. They're down 19. They're into the final minute of the third quarter. Olison, another good handoff. Great run out of the shotgun. He's been unbelievable today, has Quadri Olison here in the second half. 13 yards again. He's up to 94 yards on 16 carries, and the Panthers are inside the 10. Darren Hall checks back in. It's a handoff here. He goes off tackle. Nice run there. Picks up about five as we're nearing the end of the third quarter. Panthers might have one or two more plays in them here. Second and goal. Pick it in the shotgun with Hall to his right. It's a handoff. 
off. It's Darren Hall on the counter. He fights his way forward, dives into the end zone, and it's a touchdown for the Panthers. Darren Hall with 11 seconds to play in the third quarter. The Panthers have cut it back to a two-possession game. And Narduzzi's leaving the offense out there. They want to get it to within 11, so they're a field goal and a touchdown away rather than two touchdowns away. So five wide set for Pickett. Back, looks, gets hit, but Paul Lease, the two-point conversion wizard he is. Lease runs the slant over the middle. Pickett takes the hit to make the play. He got leveled as he released that football, but Lease goes up. He looks like Air Jordan there with his legs spread, hauling in the football. Great catch from Paul Lease, and the Panthers are within 11, but Miami is not going to stop here. End of the third quarter, they go for another big pass, and they're driving, leading the football game 30-19. to Your Pitt Panthers trailing on the Pitt Panthers Football Network. Start the fourth quarter, the Panthers trying to contain this Miami offense that they haven't been able to stop all day. It's Walton on the handoff from Sheriffs, picks up about four Miami into pit territory already. Second down, it's another handoff to Walton, delay on the draw. He picks up first down yards, nine yard gain for Walton. He's well on his way to 100 yards, 86 on the day so far. Miami eating some clock while they still break down this Panthers defense. Walton now goes forward. He's brought down by a tackle. It's Dennis Briggs who helps to knife him down after a gain of four, second and six. Shotgun look now for Sheriffs, three wide to his right. He's back. Three-step drop, looks, looks. Panthers bring the pressure, and that's Dwayne Hendricks, the senior. Big sack from him off the edge, and it's going to force third and very long for the Hurricanes. Third and 13 from Sheriffs. They set up a screen to Walton outside. Incredible blocking, and it's a first down for Miami, and that is devastating for the Panthers right now, and you have to wonder if their season is really coming to a close. Of course, they'll have bowl season, but... ACC championship game potential national title even was still in play for these Panthers and Miami is just slowly like a thousand cuts type of death taking that away from the Panthers. Hendricks though gets into the backfield for another big tackle. It's going to be third and nine now for Miami after the Panthers stop. Sheriffs back to pass plenty of time. Looks out wide. He's got his man. That's Bruce but on the comeback he wasn't able to maintain first down yardage. It'll be fourth and inches. Miami takes the field goal to force the game to a full two possessions, 14 points. And Maurice French on the ensuing return now is going to get the Panthers into great field position after really struggling in the first half on returns. That's 50-plus yards down to the 39 of Miami. And the Panthers, with just six and a half minutes to play here in the fourth quarter, are trying to mount a dramatic Comeback. They trailed 30 to 11 at one point. They trailed 27 to 3 at one point, even. And the Panthers have fought this back to two possessions. But Pickett sacked, brought down uh, for a loss. So it's going to set up third and 15. Five wide set for Pitt right now. Pickett in the shotgun. He's back. Rolls to his right a little. Looks has a man. He had Paul Lease, but he just let him a bit too much. And this is. This is no man's land. Fourth and 15 for the Panthers. Five wide set. French goes in motion. Pickett back to pass. Looks. He tries for French. It's intercepted. It's Sheldrick Redwine. Brings the pass in at the Miami 24. The Panthers turn it over. And you have to wonder, is that it? Pitt still with three timeouts. But the way this Miami offense has been moving the ball... You have to think that may be it for the Panthers. Handoff. It's going to be Mark Walton. Goes up the middle. Nice, solid gain for him. Picks up five. And Miami will let the clock run a little bit here. Four, under five minutes to play in regulation here. Sheriff's back. It's a screen. Oh, my goodness. It's a horrible loss. Richards goes for a loss of eight. Phillippe Motley helps bring him down in the backfield, and Miami will have to convert third and 13. Now Sheriffs goes underneath. It's Mullins. He's not going to get there. Sophomore linebacker Jason Jordan brings him down, and the Panthers will take over with just over four minutes to play, still trailing by two touch touchdowns. Pickett rolls out. Great throw. Arugia Lopes can't get a foot in. 
The Panthers thought about challenging, but he wasn't able to get two feet in, and so the Panthers will face second and ten now. Antonio Greer, the freshman tight end, hauls that in for three yards, but the clock's going to run. Tick, 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 tick. Third and seven now. Olison motions out of the backfield, so empty set in the shotgun here for Kenny Pickett. He's back. Looks. Lost it up. Olison's open. He hauls it in. Quadre Olison. He just snuck behind the corner in the safety. Completely unwatched. It goes for a huge gain. Pickett for 51 yards, or excuse me, 50 yards to Olison, and the Panthers are down to the one yard line here. Clock still running, so the Panthers need to save their timeouts. In motion goes Balmer. It's Anoff. It's Darren Hall. He's into the end zone. The Panthers have cut it to a one possession lead when Miami went up 27 to 3. In the middle of the third quarter, I don't think anybody saw this coming, but the Panthers showing some resolution, and if they can get a stop on the Hurricanes, they may have a chance to get the ball back. Sheriffs, though, he finds Amon Richards. He fights his way forward for a gain of nine across the middle. It's going to be second and one now as the clock's going to run to about two minutes to play. Under two minutes now, Bruce goes in motion. Sheriffs back to pass. He looks. He's got his man. That's Mullins. He's brought down loss of six, and with under a minute 54 to play, the clock's going to wind. Miami in an eye formation set. They might finally be here to run the ball to hand off. It's Walton. He goes to the outside. Dennis Briggs chases him down. The senior safety says, this is not how things are going to end for me. And Narduzzi calls timeout. The timeout's an eye formation set for Miami. The Panthers, if they can get a stop here, maybe can hope to get the ball back with about 30 seconds left. Narduzzi calls his final timeout. Miami comes out in the shotgun, though. Third and 13. Are they trying to end this game right here? Sheriff's back. They send up a screen. It's Walton going out wide. He misses the first man. Jason Jordan with a season-saving tackle. And the big play there is he pushed him out of bounds. That's going to stop the clock. And the Panthers take over with a minute and six left rather than like 30 seconds. So that is a huge Huge stop by Jason Jordan getting the out-of-bounds play, and the Panthers take over here with a minute to play. Second and ten, five wide, pick it underneath. That's Paul Lease gets just enough to get first down yards, which is huge because it's going to stop the clock while they reset the chains here. Clock now moving, pick it, five wide here. He looks, resets the play from the sidelines. Sends French in motion. He's back. Rolls out wide. Pick it. Sees him in. He's got it. It's Trey Tipton. Unbelievable touch throw. Tipton down to the five-yard line with 40 seconds to play. Pickett rolled out to his right. Tipton was all alone on a wheel route to the sideline. And just like that, 20 seconds to play here. First and goal. The Panthers letting the clock run, knowing they could spike it. But Olison's into the end zone. A touchdown run. He falls in. Quadri Olison has tied it. Well, with the extra point, will have tied this game. Look at the replay. He barely gets into the end zone. All that was made from an unbelievable touch pass from Kenny Pickett to Trey Tipton, who had a huge drop earlier in the game. He makes up for it with that 61-yard catch and run. Quadriolison finishes it off with his second touchdown of the day. And Miami, with just seven seconds left, trying to somehow get ahead and win this game in regulation. They run the screen to Walton. Two seconds to play there at about the 35-yard line. They're going to set up to maybe try and run a Hail Mary. Sheriffs has a great arm, so he's just going to launch as far as he can. The Panthers line up deep. There it is. It gets to about the 10. Unbelievable throw. It's intercepted. It's Quile Hampshire, the red shirt freshman. His first career interception brings it in, and the Panthers have come from behind from 24 points down. They've come back and leveled the score and forced overtime here in Miami. And we will have extra time to decide who goes to the ACC championship game. Absolutely unbelievable. The Panthers in the fight for their lives trying to get redemption after losing to Miami last year. They want to get back 
to face Clemson to get redemption for that ACC championship lost the year before. It's a redemption tour for the Panthers, and Kenny Pickett is the lead singer right now as he goes for about six. Second and four now as the Panthers started with the ball after Miami won the toss. Olison up the middle, plenty of room. He's down to about the six. 13-yard carry for the senior bruiser. He's up to 116 yards on the day. Darren Hall checks in now on first and goal. Panthers go trips to the short side to the left of Kenny Pickett. It's a handoff. It's Hall. He fights through a tackle. Gets forward. He's into the end zone. The stretch by Hall gets in from six yards out. And the Panthers with their first lead. And it comes more than 60 minutes into the contest as the Panthers take the lead 40 to 33 here in the extra frame and if they can stop Miami they'll have pulled off one of the most improbable victories in Pat Narduzzi's tenure here and an incompletions forced there second and ten now Sheriff's under center two tight end set to his left he sends one in motion with Walton as the deep setback Sheriff's back looks over the middle he's got his man that's Sam Bruce who's had a great game for Miami 419 yards passing for Sheriff's now as they're down to the 12 first and 10 send the tight end in motion yet again as Sheriff's under center here changing the play at the line he drops back looks sends it out wide he's got Mullins who steps out after about five it's gonna be second and five now for the Hurricanes Panthers looking like they're bringing pressure. They do. Sheriff though gets the pass off. He's got Mullins again underneath, but he doesn't get near the end zone. Only picks up two, and it's going to be third and three from the five. Four down territory for the Hurricanes at this point here on third and three. Sheriff's in the shotgun. They send a man in motion. He's back. They're setting up the screen, but the Panthers bring the house, and so Sheriff just throws it out the back of the end zone. He looked like he just didn't know what to do. The Panthers brought seven. And the pressure forced him to throw a fourth and three. Now, this is the ball game. Man in motion as Sheriffs is under center. He's back to pass. Looks. Rolls out to his right. He's brought down. Elijah Zeiss, the senior, with the tackle, brings down Sheriffs. And the Panthers are going to the ACC championship game. Hail to Pitt. An unbelievable comeback. For the ages, this is going to go down in the annals of pit history, especially depending on the way the outcome of that ACC championship game and the rest of this season. An improbable comeback. The Panthers with so much resolve, so much resolution. They stuck to their guns, too. It was a fantastic rushing performance. Olison had 116 yards on the ground. Darren Hall had 50-plus yards on the ground. They had five rushing touchdowns. They converted a pair of uh, two-point conversions as well. Just an unbelievable performance from the Panthers and a victory. And with that, we'll be seeing you in the ACC championship game. Hail to Pitt. We'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Signing off from the Pitt Panthers Football Network.